Okay, so I'm going to start by taking the pom-pom here and like kind of like mushing it around and trying to like shape it because it's kind of flat. It came flat in the package. And then I'm going to start cutting from the bottom little by little. You don't want to go too much with it because the strawberry is, you know, kind of more narrow on the bottom than it is on the top. Just like working my way around. Make sure to fluff it out so that there's no excess like fuzzies in the way while you're cutting and so we're just gonna keep cutting around it and cutting around it until we get a shape that we want you want to make sure that it you know it looks like a strawberry so just keep working on it little by little because if you go too far you can't undo that so just take your time with it Make sure that your scissors are sharp because if they're dull, they're gonna be a lot harder to like cut through. That's what happened to me, so I had to change my scissors. Now that I have a shape that I'm happy with, I'm going to take my scissors and cut out a hole at the top where the strawberry stem will go. You could skip this step and it will still look good. I just chose to do it this way, but you could do it any way you want. At the end of the day, it's your strawberry, so whatever you're happy with. So now I'm just taking my finger and just like kind of pushing it in to like shape the top a little bit more and make it look more realistic or as realistic as a pom-pom strawberry can be. <laughs> so now I'm just going to take a scrap piece of felt. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but what I'm supposed to be doing is, yeah, um, drawing out like a kind of star shape. like kind of like the leaves of the top of the strawberry. So I'm just cutting that out and then I'm going to place it on top of the strawberry, see if I like the shape. I'm taking the back of a paintbrush and just poking it in there to give it more, I know I said this like 50 times, more shape. <laughs> and once I think it looks good, then I can start gluing it in place. So for the stem, I took a much smaller size pom-pom, it's like kind of like the size of a pea, I'm not exactly sure what size it is, and then I just like roll it in my hand to make it more like a cylinder. Cutting it just a little bit to make it look more like a stem. So then I'm going to just take the stem and just glue it on top of the strawberry. And that's it. No, there's more. I made another one. Um, I made a pink strawberry this time. I made the top a little differently for this one, but I hate it. <laughs> but don't worry, I change it later on. I'm going to do two different things with these strawberries. So for the pink strawberry, I'm going to add a face to it. So I got these safety eyes from Amazon. I'll leave the link down below in case you guys want to try this for yourself. I used tacky glue for this, but I actually think that it's better to use a glue gun if you have one. I mean, tacky glue is fine, but if you want a stronger hold, a glue gun is probably your best option. I made the smile using a black piece of felt. You can use whatever you want for the smile. It's up to you. I just had felt already, so that's what I used. So I felt like being extra and I added eyelashes to her. I used fake eyelashes that I don't use and just cut them to size. 
Then I took a hot pink marker and gave her some cute rosy cheeks. While I wait for the eyelashes to dry, I went back to work on the red strawberry. This one's pretty much done, I just have to add the seeds all around. For this I used flat back beads. So these are like regular beads except one side is flat while the other side is not. I thought the yellow beads were kind of gross so I changed it to white. So do you remember the pink strawberry from earlier? She's fine, she's just bald now. <laughs> I just changed her leaves to match the red one. So I made the pink one into like kind of an ornament. I used eye pins and a glue gun for this. I glued everything in place and added some string and there you have it, you have an ornament.